In tonight's corner office, it was a market that was at one time greatly overlooked, but now the plus size clothing industry rakes in more than $17 billion in sales annually. Our next guest helped to put plus size fashions on the map. Monif Clark is the CEO of Monif C Plus Sizes, a New York based business, and welcome to Rise Exchange. Thank it you. is an honor to have you Thanks here. For this is a terrific me. topic to talk about. Yes. I have to, I can't um, understand why it took so many years for this industry, this side of the industry, to really get going when you have all of these retailers out there pushing thinner and thinner and smaller clothes. So how did you get started? Well, I was really frustrated with the market. I started because I am a plus size woman. I couldn't find what I wanted in the market. And I said, well, somebody's got to design this. And I actually had a chance trip overseas and I saw all the beautiful fashion in Europe and I said, someone needs to do this for plus size women. And so I started. What, did you speak to designers and say, look at the market here, why are you not designing? For plus yeah. size women? Well, when I was, I, I actually have a degree in math and computer science. I didn't go to fashion school formally. And so when I wanted to start my business, I would talk to people and I'd say, can you maybe take my designs and make them for me? And they would say, nobody's going to buy that. It's too sexy. It's too colorful. It's too, too, too. And so I kind of taught myself how to design and I started. So was there this bias, I guess, in the fashion industry <laughs> that larger women did not want fashionable items, did yes. not want to feel sexy in some yes. way? There's a belief that plus size women want to lose weight before they look good or that they feel like black is slimming or, you know, gray is better and, and that they're not reading magazines and going on vacations, which is ridiculous. 65% of American women are plus size women. Okay, we have uh, one of your mannequins yes. here. Why don't you uh, talk a little bit about this and how years ago maybe a larger woman <laughs> could not get something no. like this. I mean, I remember when I was in college, you couldn't wear something like this to the club. I was kind of the dowdy one in my group. But look at this dress. It's red. You've got this sexy belt and the, the necklace. It's for a girl who's going out and feels confident about who she is. Okay. You know, I want to ask you about the phrase plus size. Yeah. Um, is that an appropriate phrase? Because does it say that that plus size is not normal size? I mean, I don't get involved you in this semantics. Yeah, no, I mean, I okay kind of embrace, I embrace plus size, I embrace fat, I embrace curvy. I mean, it's a descriptor. Mm -hmm. It's about feeling good about yeah, yourself. Yeah, they're telling me in my ear we should say curvaceous. Uh, <laughs> that too. I mean, I've heard everything. You know, at the end of the day, I'm promoting a lifestyle for the confident plus size woman. We're not really concerned with what we're called. Well, um, does the fashion change like they change oh, with yeah. the rest of the industry? And do they mirror the yes. rest of the industry? Oh my gosh. Plus size women are reading L, Glamour, In mm -hmm. Style. They know about faux fur being in this season or red being a power color. So they're, they're wearing all of it. You, it's very much in line with the trends. You mentioned the fashion magazines. Are the fashion magazines starting to cover this? Definitely more and more. And the good news is that because we are a line that really is designer focused and fashion forward, we're getting a lot of uptake in the magazines because they're at, the editors are actually saying to us we're having such a hard time finding clothes to put in the magazines. And speaking of which, there is a avenue for models now, yes. right? Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, the thing about it is the industry is still actually a little behind when it comes to models. A lot of the plus size companies use size 8 and 10 models. We are legit strictly size 16 and 18 models. I believe customers have to see the clothes on women that have body shapes just like them. What do you think of the uh, controversy, so-called controversy with Old Navy, where they're charging more? for plus size clothing. I understand the customer's frustration. Clearly, I don't know Old Navy's business structure. I know as a plus size company, first of all, it takes more time and more energy, and therefore I would say more money to okay. make plus size clothing because it's about getting the fit just right. I think that there's this misconception that if you're plus size, you're big all over. Mm -hmm. You know, some women are busty, some women are hippie, some women have flat stomachs, some no, don't. In and the, so, last, the last minute of, uh, of the interview we sure. have left, what about men? Um, there are plus size men, mm -hmm. uh, do they have some avenues now? Oh, of course. I mean, I think that there that's a market that still needs development, but I think that when you look at casual man and the different brands, they're doing some more fashion forward things for the plus size man. Do you have any interest in getting into that line? That's a market I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, I stick to what I know. Finally, in the last 30 seconds, where are you going to take the company? Where's next? Well, you know what? We're growing exponentially. We're actually opening a new showroom right here in Manhattan, and, and it's just growing. Customers can shop at MoniFC.com. Okay. Monif, thank you so much for thank coming. You. This was Thanks fun. for having me. We'll have you me. back on soon. Great. Okay. Tomorrow on Arise Exchange, how one company is making a big breakthrough helping to restore sight 
to the visually impaired. Let's take a look at the markets once again. The market started to slide basically because of the Fed's announcement and probably because of a run up after several days of record closes. The Dow down at one point about 40 points, finished the day down two and change. The S&P 500 pulling back as well. The Nasdaq off slightly too. I'm Andrew Schmertz. Thanks for watching Arise Exchange. We will see you here tomorrow. Good night.